Today, I want to talk about a topic that is called implicit expansion. It's a feature in MATLAB that has been added after 2016, and that creates some kind of confusion when you um, run a code with MATLAB like before 2016, when you, for example, add two matrices, you can get a different result when you use MATLAB that is um, basically uh, released after 2016. So after 2016, they added this feature implicit expansion, which is a very neat trick when used uh, with, like when you use it deliberately but it can be confusing when you do it accidentally and you get a result that you didn't expect. So what is implicit expansion? So in MATLAB, you know, when you add two matrices, for example, one, two, which had, if they have the same size, then you have no problem, right? So you add them and in, Linear al algebra, you know that, okay. So one plus one is two, two plus two is four, three plus three is six, four plus four is eight, five plus five is 10, six plus six is 12. So this is the result. So if you do it in MATLAB, this is what you get, right? But now MATLAB performs what is known as Ex, uh, a, a scalar expansion. So what do I mean? What do I mean by that? This implicit expansion, what do I mean by that? Well, let's say you have, you want to add, for example, uh, this to this. So before 2016, if you do something like that, you get an error, okay? So you have a two by three matrix, and you have two by one matrix, and uh, well, you can't add them, right? Because um, what happens is that the sizes are different. But if you type it in MATLAB now, if you type, let's do it, one, two, three, uh, four, let me write this over, so, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, two by three matrix, I'm adding it to two by one matrix, five and six. Okay, let's go type it out, see what happening, what's happening. So I have a, a matrix, let's call it A, and it is one, two, three, First row, four, five, six, second row. So that's my A. And then for B, my matrix is five and six. And then I want to add A plus B. Their dimensions are not the same, but I get an answer. So what's happening here? I'm getting six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12. So what's happening is that This, you see this five and six, so what MATLAB does is getting rid of this and that and basically fills it out. So instead of five and six, I'm going to write it again. So what we did have was one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm adding five and six. So MATLAB is expanding this the, because before it was two by three and two by one, it will expand the one until it gets to two by three. That means it will repeat this. So now the answer would be one plus five is six, seven, eight, and 10, 11, 12. So this is what it gives us, which is exactly what I have here. So 
This is what I mean by implicit expansion. The basic rule of thumb is that MATLAB will expand uh, an array along any dimension of length one to make it match the size of the other matrix or array. Okay, so it will expand the dimension one uh, until any dimension of length one to make it match the size of the other one. This is what I mean by implicit um, expansion. So, but you have to be careful, like if you have, so this would work and it will have its applications. If you do that, you have to do it, as I said, uh, when you use it, you should know what you're doing. Otherwise, you get a result that you're, it's not expected. But if you have something like this, for example, a four by three matrix, let's say five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So what is this? This is four by three matrix. And if you put like a three by one matrix here, then you'll get an error because why? because let's put some numbers here because the one will be expanded but what about this so the size doesn't match if you type something like this you'll get an error matlab will say size uh, do not match so that's why uh, when you for example have two arrays if you type one, two, three, plus two, one, uh, for example, five. So this is three by one. This is one by three. Now, because you have two ones, both will expand. This will expand this way. This will expand this way until they match each other. What do I mean? That means it will expand and repeats itself until it matches the other one. This 215 will repeat itself this way until it matches this one. Now they will be added and you get a number at the output. So if you add 123 plus 215, although they don't match, you'll get a result of 3 by 3 matrix, which is a result of this plus that. So if you go here and say, for example, A is one, two, three, and then B is two, one, five. And if you say A plus B, before 2016 MATLAB, if you use it, you'll get an error that dimensions don't match. But here you get a result because of implicit expansion. So be careful with that. This is actually a neat trick and it is very useful, but it can be confusing if you do it accidentally or assume that it will, uh, it will not work and there you see a number and or maybe you don't pay any attention to the size of the matrices and then uh, you get a result and you didn't expect it. So be careful with this.